So good morning, welcome everybody. So my name's Dr. Pauline Leonard, and in fact I practice in a trust near here, just two miles down the road. And I think what I would now describe as a fully transformed, mature consultant medical oncologist. Um, I've now been a consultant for 15 years, and actually I graduated from medical school 25 years ago. But I'm here this morning, on a Saturday morning, to join all these other bright young people to say this is still a career, an oncology career, that is worth uh, giving some serious thought to. I thought I'd be slightly out of touch with young people today, and because my children speak in emojis all the time, I thought this is how I would demonstrate that I am still in touch with young people, but maybe I've got that hugely wrong. Um, to me, any branch of looking after patients with cancer, whether it's clinical oncology or medical oncology, it's about being part of a dynamic uh, profession. And it's a profession that is driven by knowledge. It's driven by knowledge to improve the care for our patients, to understand the disease better. And actually one of the things I'm very passionate about as being what maybe is called a jobbing medical oncologist, actually it's all about the patient experience. It's their experience of care, it's knowing that they are getting the best treatments, but also we have to be honest that many of our patients with cancer do not survive their disease. So it's also about helping them good end of life and a good death as well. So therefore, individuals that come into any branch of cancer medicine, whether it's medical oncology or clinical oncology, I think it's about improving your knowledge. I've now been a consultant for 15 years, and as the other speakers have said, that actually managing something like lung cancer, which I do, it is very different, but actually it's not very different, because actually if we don't remember the history and the lessons and how things are formed, what we mustn't do get is attracted by everything that's shiny and new. Everything that's shiny and new forms a path, but actually we still have to look after the bigger populations. And I think what we do therefore as clinic clinicians is to try and work together with our bright colleagues, forging the way, but looking after the bigger populations. I want to be the best clinician that I can be. I want to stay up to date, but I also recognize my strengths and my weaknesses, and that's why I want to work with other people to help teach me. I want to be a better teacher. I want to understand things so I can teach my own team, actually my patients, and the wider community and the trust. I also want to work with better researchers. I want to be part of clinical trials. I want to be part of translational research. And I also want to be a better supervisor whether that's a foundation do doctor or a core trainee. It is all around being person-centered. Uh, it's about personalizing treatments to the characteristics of the cancer. We've heard quite a lot about that. And again, but that's working with other people like histopathologists who have the art to tell us what we are dealing with. We're involved from the start of the diagnosis. Now, as a, a medical oncologist, I am involved when patients come in through the emergency department are found to have a diagnosis of cancer. So I can help tailor the care based on their holistic needs and their own clinical characteristics. And I am involved right through their journey, whether they have treatment or not, and towards the end of their life. It is also all about optimizing their quality of life. And to me, it's also around personalizing care to the patient. What are their value sets? What are their wishes? What is it they want to do in the time that they have left? And it is about valuing team contributions. And I like what the other speakers have said. It's not just about us. Well, often as oncologists, we think it is always about us. But actually, it's other people that enable us to achieve. It's standing on the shoulders of giants. And one of the other trainees talked about shared decision-making, and that's a real art, but that's an art in medicine, to move away from what we believe as clinicians to be the expert in the room, to recognizing that the patient is also the expert in the room about their disease and illness. And I just feel it's so varied. You know, it, there are lots of different tumor types. You can be an expert in breast cancer, colorectal cancer. You can take on a number of tumor types. There are also many roles within medical oncology. Yes, we need our clinician scientists like Sophie, but actually you can be a whole host of other things. I'm proud to be a clinician. I think it's really important to celebrate being a great doctor, but also I like being a teacher and I like being a supervisor. You can work in a district general like myself, or as previously before, be based in the cancer center and provide outreach work to a unit. We've talked about leading research groups. I don't think I need to go over that again. But you can also lead clinical research that's meaningful and you can embed in your everyday practice. 
Um, and in fact, I really like now working with acute medical teams. And in fact, it's, I think sometimes we've become so super specialised, we've got to learn to get back in touch with medicine and work with our clinical medical colleagues, but make sure we share our knowledge about how to manage cancer patients with the uh, acute physicians. And many of uh, medical oncologists actually therefore lead on developing the curriculum and medical education. I find it hugely rewarding. So um, I think, as somebody said, it's really important to have a work-life balance. What we don't want to do is put you all off, that you have to be these incredibly driven, leave all your hobbies, leave a stable home life. No, I'm married, I have four children, and I'm very proud that I think I'm also a successful consultant who wants to stay in touch but deliver great patient care. It's wonderful to make a contribution to research. It's amazing if we can inspire any of you today to become oncologists for the future. And I like being part of a highly motivated multidisciplinary team. So choose a career in oncology, be it medical oncology or clinical oncology, and a pot of gold awaits you. Thank you. <laughs>